Hello and welcome to this Gamma tutorial. In this video, we would like to show you how to insert images into a patient file in Gamma Document Browser. A thorough photo documentation is an essential part of any well-documented patient case. Gamma Document Browser allows you to import and keep all pictures taken during the course of a treatment, displaying them in dedicated data areas of the workspace. The easiest way of importing images is via drag and drop from your file explorer. Simply open the folder that contains your image files, select the image that you want to import, and drag it onto the appropriate data area. Note that each data area expects a specific type of image, which will be displayed as you move your mouse over them. To import multiple images at once, you can open the Image Assistant via the button in the toolbar. Here, you can load images from a connected scanner or camera, from a folder on your hard disk, or, again, via a simple drag and drop from your file explorer. To exclude certain images from the import, you can uncheck them in the preview bar. For the remaining images, specify the appropriate image type either via the context menu or via the assignment tool window. If you find that the sequence of image types is the same for every patient case, you can save it as a photo order template to simplify the assignment in the future. To apply a previously saved template, simply select it in the list and click Apply. The Image Assistant also provides basic image editing capabilities. For instance, on the Coloring Tool window, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the selected image. On the Resizing Tool window, you can rotate the image, mirror it, or crop it while keeping a specified aspect ratio. In either case, you can restore the original image by pressing Restore Defaults. Finally, to complete the image import, simply press the corresponding button on the bottom right. If all image types have been assigned correctly, the images will automatically be displayed in their associated data areas. It is important to note that imported images are stored in full size and can be exported again if needed. To display an image full screen, simply double-click it in the workspace. We hope that our tips were useful. If you have any questions, please write us an email or ask your local distributor.